Okay, so I'm going to be reading some passages from Divergent by Veronica Roth. Uh, the first passage is on page 137, and it kind of talks about the Triss's relationship with her brother Caleb, and um, this is at a point where she is close to her brother um, physically, but she is not able to go and see him um, during the training for Dauntless. So I think this passage would be a good discussion starter for the overall themes of family and like what what would you be willing to sacrifice for your family and what you know if the rules said that you that you couldn't see your family would you be willing to break those rules so here it is it's on page 137 she says I'm less than a mile away from my brother it has been a week since we were that close together I shake my head a little to get the thought out of my mind I can't think about him today when I have to focus on making it through stage one. I can't think about him any day. So I thought that would be a good discussion prober for um, themes about family. The next passage I'm going to read is on page 351, and this is actually when Triss is with her brother. Uh, she went to go visit him at the Erudite compound, and they go over to uh, what used to be Millennium Park and talk under the bean. So uh, this passage, I think, is really good to help the students engage with the setting. And depending on where you were teaching at, uh, the students might be familiar with the setting, which would definitely be helpful um, in conversation and activities to kind of help them use that to connect with the text. So this is page 351. We exit the building and cross the street. I have to jog to keep up with him. Across from Erudite headquarters is what used to be a park. Now we just call it Millennium, and it is a stretch of bare land and several rusted metal sculptures, one an abstract plated mammoth, another shaped like a lima bean that dwarfs me in size. So specifically talking about the bean there and about Millennium or Millennium Park, um, there's a lot of other places in the novel that talk about different settings in Chicago too, so this would just be one of the places that would really be a springboard for mapping out the city and making connections in that way. And then my last quote, this is my favorite one, it's on page 360, and this is when, um, this is after Triss went to see her brother, she's still in the Erudite compound, and she was, she was caught there, and she's talking with Janine, who's trying to get out of her the fact that she's divergent, and so this is when she's being forced to lie about her family and how she feels about them, and so I'll read the passage, and then I'll kind of talk about it a little bit more. So it starts with Janine talking, and she says, So you don't miss your parents? She asks delicately. Do I miss getting scolded for looking in the mirror? Do I miss being told to shut up at the dinner table? I shake my head. No, I don't miss them. They're not my family anymore. The lie burns my throat on the way out. Or maybe that's the tears I'm fighting. I picture my mother standing behind me with a comb and a pair of scissors, faintly smiling as she trims my hair, and I want to scream rather than insult her like this. Can I take that to mean, Janine purses her lips and pauses for a few seconds before finishing, that you agree with the reports that have been released about the political leaders of this city? The reports that label my family as corrupt, power-hungry, moralizing dictators, the reports that carry subtle threats and hint at revolution, they make me sick to my stomach, knowing that she is the one who released them makes me want to strangle her. I smile. Wholeheartedly, I say. I really like this passage because I think it's it's great to show Veronica Ross' writing style where she's showing us or telling us what Triss is thinking inside of her head and then we get to see a completely different side of her on what she's saying on the outside. So um, I thought that was a really cool passage to read that really just shows the writing style and shows some, some cool emotion and character development.